starting with the topic of catalysis and in this case I will be discussing the entire chapter in terms of the major concepts which needs to be taken care of. So I'll be dividing this particular chapter into various segments as far as its, its importance. So to begin with now, what exactly we mean by catalysis? It's a term which is going to be heard from a long time. But then still, when we start with a particular chapter, we have to start with the basics. So with that basics in mind, we begin with the chapter called as catalysis. Now, when we talk about catalysis, my dear friends, it's basically nothing but we talk about a substance when we begin. Now, a substance which has to be added to a reactant such that it results in the acceleration, speeding up of a chemical reaction without itself involving without itself involving any chemical change. Okay, this is what the meaning of the catalyst is. And I started with substance, so that means this is called as a catalyst. And the reaction in which the catalyst is being used is called as catalysis. Or it's called as a catalytic reaction. Understood this? Once again, I repeat. What is catalyst is? It's a substance which is being added to the reactant. It accelerates the rate of the reaction. That means it increases the rate of the reaction. Now here, my dear friends, I want to point out one more thing and that is, instead of using the word acceleration, we can also use a very general word and that is modification or alteration. Now when I use this word modification or alteration, it means that there is sometimes a possibility where the rate of the reaction decreases. लेकिन दोस्तों हम ये केस तभी कंसीडर करेंगे जब हम खुद चाहेंगे कि वो रेट ऑफ द रिएक्शन कब हो ओके सो दिस इज व्हाट वी डिजायर ऑल राइट सो एट दैट टाइम दैट पर्टिकुलर कैटलिस्ट कैन आल्सो बी कॉल्ड एज अ नेगेटिव कैटलिस्ट ऑफ कोर्स वी विल नॉट बी कंसीडरिंग ऑल दोस कांसेप्ट्स ओवर हियर राइट नाउ बट देन व्हाट आई वांट यू टू अंडरस्टैंड इज दैट ऑन मोस्ट ऑफ द केसेस इट इंक्रीजेस द रेट ऑफ द रिएक्शन बट समटाइम्स एज पर आवर रिक्वायरमेंट इट आल्सो स्लोस डाउन द रेट ऑफ द रिएक्शन ऑल राइट सो द जनरल टर्म कैन बी गिवन एज अल्टरेशन ऑर मॉडिफिकेशन बट हियर वी आर कंसीडरिंग द मेजर कांसेप्ट्स द मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम व्हाट इट इज गोइंग टू डू and accordingly i use the word acceleration it speeds up the rate of the reaction generally the reaction is going to be a chemical reaction there are some physical reactions as well but then as i said we are going off for a general one we are trying to contain ourselves as far as the syllabus is being concerned so please take that particular note in your mind so without itself undergoing what any chemical change now why do i need to specify this word and that is chemical change why should i just say without any change क्यों मुझे वो स्पेसिफाई करने की जरूरत है केमिकल क्योंकि दोस्तों बहुत सिंपल हो जाता है इसके मतलब कि अगर एक सब्सटेंस की बात की जाए तो एक सब्सटेंस के पास एक केमिकल प्रॉपर्टी होता है और एक फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टी होता है और जब मैं स्पेसिफाई करता हूं कि देर इज नो केमिकल चेंज इसका मतलब ये हो जाता है कि ड्यूरिंग अ केमिकल रिएक्शन देर इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ अ फिजिकल चेंज ओके फिजिकल चेंज हो सकता है okay during the course of a chemical reaction okay and that's why there was a need to specify this word and that is what chemical all right so because i started with substance so that means i will be using the word what catalyst all right aur agar mujhe catalysis define karna to that means nothing but a reaction in which a catalyst is being used is called as a catalytic reaction or we just simply call it as what catalysis okay i guess this part is very clear it's just basics now the two important parts about catalyst is okay which is very much responsible for its behavior and that is first one is it has to be effective effective ka matlab kya hota hai ke it should produce high amount of the products okay jo products banna hai wo large amount mein hona chahiye okay ya amount hum log dusre shabdon mein kya bolte hai yield so your final product has to be what in large amount okay that is what we call it as what effective okay the other way is what happens is if the product is going to be formed at a very fast time all right lekin if it is being formed in very small amount usko dekhne ke liye bhi microscope chahiye to main us catalyst ko effective nahi bol sakta 
Am I clear? So, which is my final product, hai, that should be obtained in large amount. This is the first case. Now, first requirement of that particular catalyst is it has to be what? Effective. And the second is it has to be selective. Okay, it has to be what? Selective. Now, what I mean by selective is okay, it should produce only the desired product. Okay, it needs to produce what? Only the desired product. See, my dear friends, whenever you talk about a chemical reaction, that normally takes place in the industries and all that stuff. So, chemical industries, okay, when they are going to carry out any sort of, sort of a reaction, okay, it is with an intention of a formation of a particular product. Mujhe ye particular product banane ka hai, aur isliye maine ye reaction set up kar diya hai, aur ye main pura process chala raha. Because it is involving cost. Alright, and whenever we talk about industry, it is being set up only for the profit making purpose. A profit, dosto, tabhi hota hai. When the cost part is less, okay, and the income part is more. And when it is going to be possible, only when we get a particular product in large amount. So, mere dimag mein ek hai. Already, whenever I start with a chemical reaction, okay, I want to prepare this particular product. So, that means that is my desired product. Alright, so whenever I say that the catalyst has to be selective, so that means that catalyst, whatever I'm going to use, should make sure that I need to get that only and only that desired product. Of course, those are theoretical. Okay, practically, aisa nahi hota hai. practically, apart from the desired product, we go to unwanted products, we will jata hai. Lekin, hamara jo maksad hota hai for selectivity ka catalyst ka jab selection hota hai. To ye baat important hai ki uska selectivity isi parameter pe hona chahiye ki jo hamara desired product hai, that should be obtained in, if I don't, if I don't say that 100 percent, but it has to be in maximum proportion. Okay, so this is what is the difference between effective and selective. Effective mala? Produce the products in large amount and selective amount of produce only the desired product. Okay, so that is what is effectivity and selectivity. Okay, I guess up to this part uh, is very clear to all of you all. Point and that is about what are the important requirements of a good catalyst. Okay, so requirements of a good catalyst. First one is it needs to have a variable oxidation state. And in generally, I'm talking about transition elements. Okay, transition elements have got a vacant d orbital. So, this means that the s orbital ke cho electrons hai, as well as the d orbital, both of them are available for bonding purposes. So, as a result of which, more number of electrons are being involved. Okay, and therefore, it is going to show variable oxidation state. Next point is number two is. It should form more number of complexes with a wide range of coordination number. Okay, complexes is all about metal as well as ligands. So this is basically talking about the metal catalyst. Alright, so metal and ligands combination is going to give you a coordination compound. It's called as complexes. Now, the number of donor atoms of the ligands surrounding the metal is nothing but called as one coordination number. So here, it should have an ability to form complexes with wide range of coordination number. Means what? There has to be a greater versatility. Okay, versatile hona chahiye. With different, different number of ligands. Are the, I will say specifically the donor atoms of the ligands ke saath uski kabiliyat honi chahiye coordinate covalent bond banane ki okay so that is point number two next one is it should have suitable orbitals obviously for bonding purposes suitable bonding orbitals honi chahiye uske paas uh, usme se there can be a filled orbital or a vacant orbital agar filled orbital hai so it has an ability to donate electrons. Okay. Or if it's vacant, hai, so it has a tendency to accept electrons, obviously, from the ligands. Okay. That is uh, another important requirement. Next important requirement is it should have different pathways. Okay. It should offer what? Different, different pathways. Alag -alag raste se. Reacting product may convert honey ka capillary is catalyst ke pass hona chahiye such that the energy of activation has to be what minimized. 
जितना एनर्जी ऑफ एक्टिवेशन कम है उतना ज्यादा से ज्यादा नंबर ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स रिएक्टेंट मॉलिक्यूल्स विद कोलिशंस गेट्स कन्वर्टेड इनटू इफेक्टिव कोलिशंस एंड देयर बाय इट गेट्स कन्वर्टेड इनटू व्हाट प्रोडक्ट्स ओके इट्स एज सिंपल एज दैट व्हिच इज कोलिशन थ्योरी ऑफ केमिकल काइनेटिक्स सो एनर्जी ऑफ एक्टिवेशन जितना कम होगा उतना ज्यादा से ज्यादा नंबर ऑफ रिएक्टेंट मॉलिक्यूल्स विल बी इन्वॉल्वड इन द रिएक्शन गेटिंग कन्वर्टेड इनटू द प्रोडक्ट्स एंड देयर बाय द रेट ऑफ द रिएक्शन विल इंक्रीज all right so this was the number fourth one number fifth one it should have the ability to speed up the reaction matlab fasten the reaction even at low concentrations kabhi kabhi humne dekha hai sir ki reactions do give you become fast but at what expense when i am using large amount of the reactants ab industry mein ye sab nahi chalega okay because industry is very clear as i made it as i told you cost effective ओके सो यानी द इनकम हैज टू बी मोर द एक्सपेंडिचर हैज टू बी लेस ओके तो रिएक्टेंट खरीदने के लिए एक्सपेंडिचर होता है तो अगर मैं ज्यादा से ज्यादा रिएक्टेंट डालूंगा तो फिर ऑफकोर्स पैसा वाइज वो मेरा लॉस हो जाएगा तो कैटलिस्ट एक ऐसा सब्सटेंस होना चाहिए जो रेट ऑफ द रिएक्शन को बढ़ाए लेकिन साथ में यह भी ध्यान रखे कि द अमाउंट ऑफ द रिएक्ट विच आर गो टू एड ओके शुड बी वॉट लेस सो एट लो कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑल्सो द रिएक्शन शुड रन नॉट वॉक okay so that is what it is faster reaction at lower concentration next is it should have an ability to produce the desired products i was talking about the desired products if you can recall when i was talking about the selectivity so it should produce desired products in large concentration and minimize the amount of unwanted products wo ek ke upar ek free aa jata hai na to kabhi kabhi ye acha nahi hota hai wo offer okay always is not good industry mein aise hi problem hai ek mujhe chahiye usko par ek free aa gaya to wo free wala nahi chahiye mujhe usko hatane ka mujhe so it has to be what minimize the concentration that is the amount of the unwanted products okay it should have that much of ability to do that next one is it should have an ability to survive large number of catalytic cycles catalytic cycles kya hota hai it's nothing but it's a series of steps or it is a sequence of the various number of steps which are being involved in a catalytic reaction ओके उसको हम लोग क्या बोलते हैं कैटलिटिक साइकिल ओके बिकॉज ये जो रिएक्शन होने वाला है आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट मैकेनिज्म ना ओके इट्स नॉट अ वन स्टेप मैकेनिज्म इट इन्वॉल्व्स मल्टीपल स्टेप्स सो ऑल दोस स्टेप्स व्हिच आर बीइंग इन्वॉल्व्ड ओके इन दैट पर्टिकुलर कैटलिटिक रिएक्शन और व्हाट आई कॉल इट एज कैटालिसिस ओके दैट इज कॉल्ड एज व कैटलिटिक साइकिल क्योंकि दोस्तों बहुत सिंपल है आप सब लोग जानते हो अच्छी तरीके से लाइट फ्रॉम स्कूल डेज दैट कैटालिसिस इज अ सब्सटेंस व्हिच इज गोइंग टू बी ऑब्टेंड एज इट इज व्हाट इट वाज बिफोर एट द एंड ऑफ द रिएक्शन Okay, so I need to get it back at the end of the reaction. So that means what? It has to survive that whatever the number of steps which are there. Okay, which is a part of the catalytic cycle. Okay, so at the end of the day, we need to get the catalyst back in the same chemical form. ओके तो उतनी काबिलियत उसके पास होनी चाहिए सो दिस आर माय डियर फ्रेंड्स द इंपॉर्टेंट रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर अ मेटल टू बी एज अ कैटलिस्ट वी कैन जस्ट रिफ्रेश इट वेरी फास्ट एंड दैट इज द फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज इट शुड हैव वेरिएबल ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट Okay, so that means more number of electrons should be available for bonding purpose. Second one is it should form more number of complexes. Okay, zyada number of coordination compounds banana chahiye. Alag alag coordination number ke saath. Basically, the the most common coordination number aap hi jaante ho achhi tarike se is four, five, and six. Next one is it should have suitable bonding orbitals. Or wo orbitals chahe to filled ho ya to vacant ho. Filled hai to achhi baat hai. It can used to be donating electrons. Agar vacant hai, then also it is good enough. Accept electrons from the ligands. Okay, so it can either have an ability to donate electrons or it has an ability to accept electrons. Next one is it should have an ability to give different pathways. अलग अलग रास्ते देने चाहिए, अलग अलग options देना चाहिए उनको किसको reactant को ताकि वो product में convert होने के समय the energy of activation which is required for the reactant molecule should be less. So that for the more number of reactant molecules will be involved in the reaction and thereby the rate of the reaction increases. दूसरा है it should fasten up the speed of the reaction. लेकिन at low concentration of the reactants even if the reactants are present in small amount it should have an ability to make sure that the reaction goes in a very fast speed 
दूसरा है इट शुड प्रोड्यूस डिजायर प्रोडक्ट्स इन लार्ज कॉन्सेंट्रेशन यू नो वट इज डिजायर प्रोडक्ट इज जिसके लिए मैं केमिकल रिएक्शन एग्जीक्यूट कर रहा हूं दैट इज वॉट इज कॉल्ड एस ए डिजायर प्रोडक्ट सो इट शुड भी ओप्टीन इन लार्ज अमाउ एंड इट शुड मिनिमाइज ओके एज आई से आई एम टॉक अबाउट प्रैक्टिकल टर्म्स थियोरेटिकल इट शुड भी जीरो लेकिन इन प्रैक्टिकल टर्म्स मिनिमाइज वॉट द अनवॉन्टेड प्रोडक्ट्स Last one is catalyst has to be obtained back at the end of the reaction, so that means it has to have an ability to survive the catalytic cycle. Okay, what is the catalytic cycle? The number of sequence of steps which are being a part of the entire catalytic reaction. Am I clear with this part? So this is what the requirements of a good metal catalyst, and I'm very sure you have understood up to this.